Greetings, Gemini, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, I hope you're doing well, and let's jump right in to the reading for your 4-4 portal, and this is April 4th, and this a day has significance uh, because the, um, the planets line up today in a very fortuitous way with Mars and Venus, those lovers, passionate um, beauty, and uh, also war and fighting, but also that <clears throat> we have Saturn, a discipline, structure, uh, uh, tightness, restriction, but also Uranus, which is about dreams and going for our inspiration. So let's jump right in and see what this has for Gemini. And the Water Oracle wants you to know that a king tide, there is something um, with this king of tides, some ebb and flow, something's coming in, there's movement, um, plenty, prosperity, uh, perceiving the fullness of life. And that's what this portal will invite you to step into. You are the king of the tide. You're riding this tide, the oceanic um, awareness of this oneness. And you've got plenty, and you've got gratitude, and you've got this sense of knowing how beautiful and precious this life is, and receiving the fullness of life. And that is uh, the theme for you as we jump in, Gemini. Jump into the ocean. And let's <clears throat> see what it is that the tarot wants Gemini to know. And thank you for being present to this reading. 4-4 four, four. could be a significant a number for you, or you might be seeing um, repetition of 4. And this is the number of balance and stability. And you've got the Five of Wands coming out, Gemini, competition. Uh, the Five of Wands is fiery. You're halfway through the suit of wands, so it's saying uh, there is a sense of um, competition, of conflict, um, of you know time, uh, um, and <clears throat> things with Mercury going retrograde. So you could have a timing that's off, or delays, or some conflict in uh, communication around uh, plans or around uh, receiving deliveries even. But it's saying that there's conflict. Uh, this could be something that is um, coming to your mind today uh, about what's going on. And what helps or hurts this is power, the king of pentacles. Well, you've got this sense of fire, competition, um, energy, movement, uh, conflict, but also, you know, kind of using this energy, sometimes the Five of Wands is just this need to release energy, sexual energy, potency, and then you've got the power. You've got this uh, king, um, this uh, breadwinner, this one who makes a manifestation happen. And you're manifesting something very uh, powerful in terms of wealth and structure. And you're a problem solver and can sit there and manage properties very well, even if there's some conflict or it takes a lot of energy and time. But you've got um, at the foundation, you're working on this with um, collaboration with others. You don't feel that you're having to do this all alone because you're um, <clears throat> there with this uh, trinity, this uh, feeling of having... Uh, used your um, a sense of spirit and connecting to um, what the seen and the unseen and working through that, building structure in both a spiritual way where you're building a spiritual body ready for enlightenment, but at the same time you're getting power uh, from this material world, from wealth, from the 3D, and you're working at it and transforming it, building something. And that is union. You have been working on this partnership, on unifying your sense of uh, these opposites within you, the masculine and feminine, 
those light and dark sides, this union of opposites, of differences. But when something, when two come together, there creates this whole uh, new transmutation. And so that is saying that out of this union that happened recently, but in the past, it's connected to the past. Uh, you are growing and accumulating a lot of abundance, Gemini, and you're feeling that abundance all around you, almost like a sense of luxury around you now, in, this, in the air around you. This union makes you feel so abundant. And as we saw in this a king tide, you're like the king tide is like the king of cups. And it has that power of the ocean, of the um, waves and that push and pull of plenty, of prosperity. This is the a king of pentacles, um, receiving the fullness of life. And that's uh, what is challenging. That fullness of life is challenging this sense of a competition, fighting, um, mishaps, miscommunication. And you're coming now to exploration. You're taking that wand of this competition, this passion, but it's basically a raw energy that wants to find an, uh, a way out, an outlet, an expression. <clears throat> and expression is coming through a kind of exploration of a new idea, something you're excited about and want to do, or want to, um, maybe it's a new uh, business or a new project to make money because there's so much wealth and power in the works, or that you have been um, ready to explore uh, something and go into the future is an exploration. And it could be connected to this uh, the union of the past. You're exploring it more, moving into different ways of, of seeing this energy go out. And you see yourself as the Six of Cups, as innocent, as uh, something returning to childhood, a kind of happiness you haven't had in a long time. And it's based on this love that you've recently been um, connecting to, this partnership that has a lot of abundance and is very independent and, and independently wealthy and has worked hard uh, to accumulate what is coming down from the crown now because uh, there is this power and there might be pa um, some power, uh, material wealth over uh, this, what is um, um, divisive or what it, where the energy is in a kind of disarray. There's power over that, material wealth. And something in the recent past um, has um, brought this union, this feeling of a connection of divine love, and it's bringing you back to childhood, some feeling you had of innocence, nostalgia, of just a happy time, and you're uh, on this new exploration to see what that was. Uh, what were the qualities of this happiness that you knew in, in childhood, that freedom, that innocence, that just spontaneity, just play, and that's saying maybe that's how you're seeing this competition is not really a uh, fighting, but just getting out there, doing something sporty, competing with others, energizing in that way, because that's something that will pull you back to how you felt as a child. And the environment is um, the seven of wands. Well, the, in your environment, you've got this um, energy of standing your ground. Somebody in your environment stands up for what they want. They've climbed up and they've met the competition and has been successful and know their worth and know their value. And that's what you're meeting in, uh, with someone maybe you're having this union with, this partnership. And your hope and fear is uh, the, uh, that you have choices, uh, that choices are to be made. Um, and sometimes you're not sure of what this desire, what this desire will bring when you make the choice um, because this is connected to the seven deadly sins of um, any way down the path of um, seduction can come from desire. Uh, this um, desire to uh, make a choice and hoping it will bring you what you want. And that's something you have to look at as a hope and a fear. And the advice is generosity. Um, 
The advice is that you will feel uh, so abundant now. Uh, you will have had a windfall coming <clears throat> out of this choice. You made the right choice in love, in this partnership. And it's bringing you so much a luxury, a wealth, abundance, a living in an awesome place that you can help manage with the power of your um, management skills to work with others. And out of this comes a lot of abundance and generosity and give and take, equal give and take and reciprocity. And just a feeling of helping others and being in an environment where you feel uh, you feel that sense of abundance. And with this nine of um, pentacles, you feel um, this wealth of your independence and your freedom and all of that energy that wealth does bring when managed well. And it brings a sense of uh, union to this uh, in entry into the 4-4 portal. There will be a lot of abundance, a lot of generosity, a lot of brightness. And there's a lot of coins here, but there's also a sense of this love and then moving into childhood and that innocence where you felt free and a playful and full of energy. And you're going to get back into that play, that connection. Um, and you, your partner or what you're encountering is standing up, is very energetic too, stands for what they want, is um, courageous, believes in the value of what they're fighting for or what they're doing. And their choice is to be made as a hope and a fear around this uh, energy of a competition. But you will feel this fun uh, happiness and this generosity where you can share and energies flowing uh, naturally and there's a lot of abundance. And that is uh, what the uh, king tide, uh, the tide is coming in and it's bringing in a lot of uh, prosperity, plenty. Uh, you're receiving the fullness of life right now in this portal. So take this opportunity now to be, have a lot of gratitude uh, for all this abundance and uh, just feel uh, blessed in this encounter with these cards today as you go through the portal. Take that balance and that um, equilibrium to give and take and move it forward. Pass it on. Move it out there. Uh, pay it ahead. And let's get one final card from the... <clears throat> angel oracles as the message for my Gemini to take through the portal with you today as we go to the 4-4. Take a step back. Well, you might need to take a step back from uh, all of this and see it. Uh, see it from uh, above and take a step back toward vulnerability and freedom. Well, that's what the Nine of Pentacles uh, is saying, that vulnerability uh, will lead to this freedom if you take a step back and look at all of this in beauty and grace. And if you like the way I read, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much, all of my Geminis, for uh, viewing the channel and helping it grow. And you know I love you, and we're in this together. A growing and learning to step back and then to be vulnerable as we explore and uh, go toward that innocence back to those feelings where we felt alive and um, felt the bounty of life all around us and so it is bye bye